lovelies. So here's the thing. I did a follow me vibro yesterday and you got to see all the fun things that I did like going to the beach. I went out to eat. I went to Target with my friends and it was so fun and so lovely but it is 3.40 in the morning. I am not going to be sleeping. And uh, it hurts to breathe and not like my asthma, my body. I have a heating pad almost melted to my back. It's on such high heat and it's hard for me to even uh, move my body around. It's kind of hard for me to set up to do this video. So, I always talk about doing these fun things because I think they're super important and you have to weigh the pros and cons and how often you can do things and how well you're feeling and if you have the days afterwards to recuperate. I just want to be able to just have fun with my friends and not be in agony afterwards. I don't feel like that's a lot to ask. I guess I just have to learn how to do just one thing and just leave it at that. I just always like feel like if I do something, like if I feel good, I need to like cram everything I possibly can into one day. And then I end up being super sick. And the thing that sucks is, is that like, really, I didn't even do that much. Like, I went to the beach, which I live at the beach, so like, I didn't really do anything. The only thing that was like exercise is like I stood in the water which like helps my balance but really like I didn't do anything like the beach is a fun activity and then um, we went out to eat which was like just me sitting there shoveling food into my face and then we went to Target and I sat on one of the like little kid carts and my friend pushed me around the store so like I didn't even really do anything it's just like such the littlest things that like I think back on now and like the girls like when we were in Target a lot of times sh were showing me stuff behind me so I was doing like a lot of twisting and looking behind me and at the time it did hurt but I, was, I didn't have any pain pills with me and I didn't take my neuron or anything like that so I just figured it was like because of that and then like when I was in the water there was a really um, strong um, undercurrent so it kept pulling me out and pulling me under the sand and um, it's just like little things that you wouldn't like you like normal people don't really think about because I mean like who cares if you're like turning around and looking at something like okay um, but to me like now every ache and pain I'm like I mean it's more than aches and pains it's like I don't know what it is. It's a lot of pain. And so it sucks because like, I mean, how do my friends feel? You know, like they really want to see me and want to hang out with me. But then I'm like so sick and so much pain and like 
I don't want to like put that on them because I love being around them like like yesterday hanging out with Monica like I haven't hung out with her in so long like just that I felt okay enough to like go and hang out and then to be in pain for like a week like that's worth it to me like to hang out with my friends for like a couple hours is worth like fibro hangover as I call it for like a week but it's hard for my friends to understand like they just like want to make sure I'm okay and like not push myself and not be in pain and not have to go through that it's like I don't know it's a really like hard thing to I mean I want to tell my friends that I'm in pain and I'm sick because I want to be open with them and they they know me well enough if I'm hiding something on one hand and on the other hand I don't want to tell them it makes me sick to hang out with them One thing I have to remember, and this keeps coming through my mind, is like the fact that I just even have friends that care that much about me and that I care that much about is truly a blessing and worth all of the pain, misunderstandings, arguments, hurt feelings. Like, it's all worth it because, like, I'm so blessed to have people in my life because I've talked to so many of you on my channel that have lost so many friends or don't have friends. And, like, chronic illness is such a lonely place to be in the first place. But alone, like, really honestly being lonely. And I don't know what I would do without my friends now like I've been in a place where I didn't have anybody and um you just recently lost pe people that were really important to me and um I didn't lose them they chose not to be a part of my life but it reminds me of losing all of my friends and really truly being alone and it was just a really scary sad place to be and um I don't wish it upon anybody and uh I think the only thing that got me through it was God and my dog It's funny because when I meet people that have chronic illnesses, like one of the first questions I always ask them, and people always ask me this, like, why do you, why do you, because it's really like a question I jump to. It's like, oh, have you been diagnosed? What do you have? Do you have any animals? Like, it seems really random to people, but in my life, Bella, my dog, has um, gotten me through the hardest times of my life, and um, she really is a godsend, and um, I know that not everyone is able to take care of an animal or um, to have the funds to take care of an animal, but man, if you do open up your heart to possibly have an animal in your life because... I can tell you from experience makes all the difference. And she's been sleeping next to me and just any time I want I can just not feel alone and feel loved and um, I feel like everything's gonna be okay.
because she's so happy and she doesn't have a worry in the world and she looks up to me and loves me and gosh the other day I thought what if she actually can understand like everything I say to her like I told her like told her like the, my deepest darkest secrets like she probably thinks I'm a psycho <sighs> I really like looked at her and was like, oh my gosh, like, can you understand what I'm saying? Because that would be freaking hilarious first and second terrifying. <laughs> um, anyways, we're going to be doing the furry friend tag soon. I'm kind of actually really excited about it. I just have to write out the questions for it. Um, cause I know I talk about her, but It'll actually be a video really explaining about her and how I found her and things like that. So, um, but I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day and um, sending out lots of X and lots of O's and I will talk to you tomorrow.